We're going to head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason, and this is obviously going to be about the Deshaun Watson situation. Hi, first time caller. First, I want to say, love the show. Secondly, I'd like to say, go Browns. But my question is, for the last two and a half years, we've heard how much of a stand-up guy Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski are. Now, my question is, both Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry went with Jimmy Haslam to meet with Deshaun Watson. Should it be should it be an issue with the fan base that we haven't heard anything from either one of those guys because they signed off on it with their reputation as well? Um, just a thought. I mean, everybody's talking bad about Jimmy and how he made the deal. But Kevin and Andrew were there too. So thank you. Go Browns. And, Scott, I, I would kind of – we were talking about this. You, you have to let – first he has to pass the physical. You probably want to see what's going to happen with the other grand jury. Maybe not. That could change things. There's just so many variables um, that if they say something before all the facts come in, they may be you know, retreating and saying something 180 degrees different two days later. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a difficult spot. Um, you know, usually if you make a big trade that you're super proud of, it doesn't take a week to get everybody in front of a camera and in front of microphones to talk about it. So I think we have to take that into consideration. I think it's a touchy, obviously, it's a touchy situation. So you want to be careful. You want to have your answers to questions all lined up. And I think all that plays into this as well as the Deshaun Watson schedule. We did hear from Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski in the statements that were finally put out on Sunday, you know, saying they did extensive research. They believe he can be the quarterback of the future, all those kinds of things. Um, I do think it's worth keeping in mind that if your owner and your boss that has them say, hey, go get this guy, then it's probably your job to go get him and your job to coach him. Now, if Andrew Barry really felt you know, morally that it wasn't the right thing to do. Maybe he could have quit. I don't know. We haven't had a chance to talk to Andrew yet or Kevin Stefanski yet. Um, but I, I think that is a reality that if the boss and owner is driving this, if he is, then you're kind of stuck if you're the coach or GM. Right. And, and you know, the, the flip side of it is, and I've said this all along, if you're a coach or a GM and you don't win, you're not going to be a coach or a GM in the NFL for very long. That's just the way the business yeah. works. Right. And he's, I mean, Deshaun Watson makes this team better. I don't think, no, I mean, nobody's arguing that, right? You can argue whether or not they should have given up six draft picks. You can certainly argue whether or not um, you want that type. A, a guy like that with the baggage that he's bringing, and baggage doesn't even seem like the right word, but with all the allegations and accusations that are really serious, you can make that argument. And do you want this guy to be the face of your franchise? But from a football perspective, it makes sense.